Well, here we are in the second round. Our opponent is playing a green-black fatty dino deck with Thopter Assembly. Two fuckers in this draft had a Thopter Assembly. We don't have an answer to a Thopter Assembly. So, I think we still just want to draw first. This hand is good enough to keep on the draw. He has a Glissa, too. He had a Glissa and a Thopter Assembly, which is super for him, I guess. I don't know. Um, I saw Insatiable Soul Eater, Pithro. This guy's deck's nuts. There's just no way I can... No way I can hope to sneak past him. This hand... I could ship it. The first game went on forever in the last round. These guys took... These guys were... When I 2 out, these guys were still 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, him and his opponent. He, he did 2-0, well, but it took him a while. I, did, I watched the second game, which didn't take that long. Um, he's got mutagenic growth to Emissary. He's just got an uh, infiltration lens. is annoying. Um, we'll see when he gets back. Maybe he's double queuing or something. Alright, I watched his first game. His deck is just nuts. He did mulligan, though, so... I can remove his first threat, Leeching Bite, and Blister Stick Shaman can take care of his many Viridian Emissaries. He's got two of them. He was clearly to our right in that pack, taking all the gifts that we bestowed upon him. A land would be nice. And a land we shall get. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm loath to kill off his emissaries when he's mulliganed and he's light on land, potentially. We don't know that yet. We might want to burn something that I deem impure. Yeah, this deck just doesn't have a single decent way to deal with a Thopter assembly. Hopefully this is a Glissa. Snapsail Glider. Um, yeah, I'll let that live. Don't really want to put the sh Shaman down yet, so let's go ahead and pass. Keeps him off the Pith Driller that I know he's got. His deck just appears to be completely stacked. I have to get pretty lucky, lucky to even be in this. I'm going to off that, though. Don't need you drawing any cards there, champ. Get the Mantis out there. Mantis, even with the Pith Driller, will trade with the Pith Driller after a Leeching Bite. There it is. As predicted. Um. I always got it. At least the glider can't really attack here. Pierce of a land drop, so killing the replica was absolutely correct. You gotta have mutagenic growth, I suppose. Let's get in. Let's get physical. Yoink, yoink. Boom. Not the world's greatest trade, I suppose. It does leave me without a play. Crunch. What have we here? That's a big one. Yeah, he was definitely to my right. So, you can't appreciably add to the board. Might as well. 
pop the spell bomb. I guess I do have the revoke that I'd forgotten about to interact with. The um, Thopter Assembly. There comes the assembly. Nope. Just four damage to the face. Yep. You suck. Oh, that's not bad. It's not good. Razor Swine. So I can play Razor Swine and Shaman, but that doesn't seem good. I think, yeah, I'm just going to throw down my Marauder. Marauder for Marauder. Try and gain my own life. Go ahead and take one smack from his Marauder. Can trade my Marauder for his Keepers and Glider with the help of a Blister Stick Shaman. It's fine. Plus, he might have mutagenic growth. That's not a big deal. So I can put down the Angler and the Shaman. Or I'll just put down my Hulk. I think I want the... Hmm. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice to have regeneration open on the Hulk. Didn't see a seven from him. I think this is fine. And then I'll just put the Razor Swine down as well. I mean, Mall Splicer's not the end of the world here. Obviously haven't seen another target for the Shaman anyway. I think Razor Swine in front of the Marauder is my best bet. I would like an artifact to hit the graveyard. Alright, he's got another land. Doesn't want to swing it into my Razor Swine for some strange reason. It's a good one. Throw him down. Could. I guess the swine's pretty terrible against Malir's Keepers. Trying for the hordes would be pretty nice here. There's your Thopter Assembly. Which is a huge bummer. How about Revoke off the top? Revoke! That is close, actually. Um, what a shame. And kill. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be awesome, actually. I'll let that happen. Um, throw you down. We're we'll each gonna gain a butt ton of life, and I'm going to. Hope for a triumph of the hordes. I would prefer not to have to throw a golem here, of course. Sure. That would be good if I could afford to wait a turn. I cannot, so I'm going to have to throw a golem. Uh, 
I am going to take out the... I can take out four Thopters and gain 25 life. And I'm taking eight a turn still. Or I could gain 20 life and be taking... Take out the Glider instead. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, something, eight. Yeah, I think it's best just to take out four thopters, actually. Peace out, Mr. Gull. What could you have here? What? Seriously? Seriously? Yep, that'll do it. And there's the revoke. Frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. I mean, there's not much I can do here. Could hope to win with like a blunt the assault. Yep. Just gonna have to hope I get trying for the hordes online or I don't even know. There's this yeah, his deck is just very well set up against mine.